Dr. Duck here with another one of our webinar series on ducks. Let's get to some comments about the ducks from the last episode on ducks. Ducks 5 ever commented. So I was watching your last video about how humans produce sounds and you said that they use like the lungs, the vocal cords, and the articulators, which are like the teeth and the tongue. And I know that the lungs provide airflow over the vocal cords, which like vibrate and segment the air. But then we humans have articulators that provide the final enunciation of the words. And I was wondering, since like ducks don't have articulators, how does the ruddy duck produce its sound? That's a great question from Ducks 5 Ever. So let's get to this. The ruddy duck creates its call by diverting air that's leaving the lungs. Yes, ducks have lungs. Into a tracheal air sac that's located on its trachea, hence tracheal air sac. The ruddy duck proceeds to beat its bill, like this, against its now inflated neck, which produces a drumming sound. The duck finishes the call by uttering a belching call. Let's listen to this sound of the duck. We'll play it at normal speed, and then we'll play it at half speed. Just wonderful. Let's play that at half speed now. far creepier. Isn't that just wonderful? I can listen to that all day. Just gets my feathers in a bunch, if you know what I mean. Thanks for the comment, Ducks5 ever. Oh, we have another comment from Ruddy Rockstar. Let's get to that question now. So, uh, what are the differences between the frequency of the Ruddy Duck sounds compared to a human? Oh, that's another great question. Just great questions on this webinar series. So, the ruddy duck produces a higher frequency minimum than humans, as seen in our graph here. If we look at the maximum frequency produced, as seen in this graph, this shows us that the duck produces a lower frequency maximum than the humans. So, in summary, the duck produces a smaller range of frequencies than that of humans. Now, let's listen to a wonderful clip of my assistant, Miele. This is where we got our information from. So let's hear her at normal speed. That's pretty good. Now, this is better. In case you never got that, let's do that one one more time. The ducks are just way better in my opinion. All right, we have one more question from, or we got a couple more questions, sorry. This question's from Duck It All. Are there differences of sound duration between human and the ruddy duck? Great question again. We, our webinar, just amazing questions, just all around everyone here. So, to answer the questions, humans produce a shorter call than that of the ruddy duck. Let's look at this, another wonderful graph. That's just fabulous. Now, let's get on to the last question here. This is from Great Horned Dorks. Why do the ducks make the sound? Like, I know why humans make sounds because, like, I am a human, but, like, why do the ruddy ducks make sounds? That's just a great question. Let's just get, let's just get into this right now. Ducks make their calls for courtship displays, so they do that when they want to find a mate. This call also makes bubbles because there's... They're beating their beaks. Oh, how fun, this silly duck. So, since everyone is enjoying the webinar series so much, I've decided to toss on some sonograms from my group that we've been studying the ducks. So we have a human sonogram, and then we have the sonogram of the duck call. Just fascinating, just fascinating. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We'll have another episode on ducks. Bye.